Hello boys and girls, Mr. Unnamed here. Today I'm going to be showing off some of my fighters. Now, all of these are more or less the same, same kind of build concepts, uh, except for this one, kind of built from scratch, kind of built around a concept that I had been teasing with. But yeah, each one of these, well, these three here, had a similar kind of build pattern. It was based off a prototype ship, which I probably should have grabbed, but that's like 20 kilometers away. I don't really feel like going and grabbing the prototype. Needless to say, it was ugly as sin. And uh, this is kind of the first one that came out of the rebuilding and refit process. Sorry for the lanterns, but as you can see, it is really dark over here on this asteroid. And uh, the reason I'm so far away from everything is because I'm going to be doing some uh, live fire exercises for these. Now, let's start off with... Oh, what did I call this? I think the Trident. That's what I called this thing. This is my Trident fighter. Kind of a stealth bomber kind of build. It has four rocket pods. Now, they're not the reloadable rocket pods. Well, they're reloadable, but they don't do it automatically. I think they have seven shots each, so it can lay down some pretty impressive fire. This is meant to do strafing runs, mostly. It's got these machine guns on the side in case it runs out of ammo. The pilot feels like he still wants to do a few more passes at the enemy. He can use these machine guns to kind of lay down some extra fire. Here is my interceptor. It's got two shield generators on there, meaning it can take a little bit more firepower. It only has two of these missile pods, but it has double the firepower as far as machine guns. It's also very maneuverable, very fast, also able to do strafing runs. This one and the interceptor here, the cheaper version, and also much faster and more maneuverable because of the uh, less weight. They're meant to be cheap, fast ships that just fly in, lay down some damage, catch up to an enemy ship maybe, and um, do a little bit of harassment. This is a much older ship, very ugly. It is called the Hatchet. And uh, yeah, a lot of machine guns. It uh, has one rocket launcher, the Azimuth rocket launcher down at the bottom there, which is reloadable. so. It can do a little bit of damage, but it is considerably more expensive because in order to get all of these thrusters going, I need a serious amount of power. And it just wasn't very good. I might do a refit for this one to uh, kind of bring it up to standard because just look at this. Compare this to this or this. I mean, that's... It's ugly. It's disgusting. Get it. Get it away. Get it off of my station. I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah. We're not going to be showing off that one. And here is my bomber. It has more guns. And it has the reloadable rocket pods hooked up to medium cargo containers. This thing is capable of laying down some serious fire. While it doesn't have exactly the same rate of fire as uh, the Trident here, it's meant to take a more considerable beating. I haven't added shield generators onto this one yet, but they're going to be much more powerful than uh, the ones on the Mark II Interceptor or the Mark I Interceptor. I posted one that doesn't have the shield generators for some reason, and it isn't finished being painted. Oh dear, this is the prototype. Hold on. Uh, that one. Okay. That's the one I meant to post. My mistake. Yeah. Let's just go ahead and post that in here. Uh, right there. And get rid of this one. Let's just park you down right here. There we go. Okay, so yeah. The Interceptor Mark II has better shield generator, more thrust on the back, 
like this one here. Uh, no, this is the... Okay, Mark 1 Interceptor, Mark 2 Interceptor, <laughs> Trident, and my Bomber. Now, with uh, introductions out of the way, let's go ahead, post ourselves something to shoot at. And uh, let's go ahead and post in... Uh, yeah, my cruise liner. Why not, right? Let's get that a good distance away. And right there. There we go. Now we have something to shoot at. All right, so first things first. Let's take the trident out and see how it handles. Get my heads up display up. And as you can see, this thing is super fast. Easily able to get up to speed. And also very easy to just get some shots off. And you can stick close to a target. Do some considerable damage, some strafing runs. Alright. So. That was a quick little demonstration of this thing. Now let's go ahead and park it back down. And bring out one of my other ships. Let's go ahead with the Interceptor Mark I. Now again, fast ship right off the bat. Easily able to get up to speed very quickly. And no rocket launchers. I don't know why that's on there. But yeah, strafing runs, this thing excels at them. And it's also very nimble able to just really work around an enemy ship do a decent amount of damage that let's move on to the next one the mark 2 nearly as maneuverable as the other one and this one has the rocket pods. And also, a decent amount of Gatling guns to give you the firepower you need to make decent strafing runs. Do a bit of damage. that one. Nailed it. Alright. Go ahead and park. Bring out the bomber. Now this is a much slower ship it even feels a lot more sluggish. It has all the firepower as far as a uh, Gatling goes, but the rocket pods mean you're not going to run out of ammo anytime soon with this thing. It does not handle as well as the other ships, but it is not meant to try and take on a ship of this size all on its own. It needs supporting fighters. 
But as you can see, I can easily do strafing runs, cause some damage to this ship. easily maneuver away and just do a lot of damage, do a lot of harassment, which is what this thing was primarily built for along with the rest of my fighters. Support, harassment, kind of intercepting enemy ships, kind of deterring them, making them want to go away. These combined with a carrier and some of my other ships such as the Falcon and the Artemis battleship make this a very very effective support fleet. And that is what I have to show as far as my fighters are concerned. I've got a few more things in production, kind of working out a few prototypes, but uh as you can see, let's go ahead and get over there, see what kind of damage I've caused. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of this debris. Alright. Just those few strafing runs, and uh, yeah, the bridge here is an absolute mess. Oop, I forgot I don't have gravity that far. Alright. Let's take a look at the inside, see how much damage I did. The escape pod area? Yeah, that's, uh, that's in bad shape. The conference room, that, uh... Yeah, these guys are breathing atmosphere, or not atmosphere, vacuum. <laughs> oh, I am dumb. The jump drive hasn't been damaged, but, uh... This whole section here has collapsed. The underside, eh, the underside looks alright. Not too much damage happening back here. We've definitely got some air leaks, though. Let's go ahead and check on the crew cabins. And see uh, what those are looking like. And that was just a very brief run by each fighter. Imagine if this had been a full-on attack. Yeah, these guys probably sucked out into space. Oh! Yeah, these guys are definitely sucked out into space. Oh, crew quarters. A little bit worse for wear. The coffee machine is still intact. That's what's important. Let's move a little further forward. See what the uh, lower class bunks are like. Yeah, yeah, these guys, oh, oh, this one's taking a bit of damage. So is this one. Everyone else on the other side uh, seems to be okay, though. Let's see, we've got more quarters up here, and already... Ooh, yeah, that's, uh... That's unfortunate. These guys are fine, though. Over here? Oh, yeah. This guy's quarters are perfectly fine, perfectly uh, habitable. These are not. The ballroom, uh, it's seen better days. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely seen better days. What about the uh, presidential suite? How has the presidential suite hold? Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. The presidential suite isn't looking so presidential anymore. Yeah. So, while this may have been a lightly armored target, these fighters are still able to produce a very significant amount of damage. That, like I said, that was just a quick little run by each one of these fighters. Imagine if these had been attacking in formation. 
just a few of these, just like this handful right here, could probably take on a decent sized frigate on their own and cause significant enough damage to make it turn around and flee or destroy it outright. Now these in combination with a full fleet engagement with a carrier holding up to, I think, 8, 12 of these and 2 or 3 of these along with a battleship, a frigate, my corvette, that is enough to turn the tide of a war. Now you're thinking, oh come on, a large ship can easily take these out. Well, yes, a large ship could very easily take these out, but that's not the point of these. The point of these is a support role. These here can potentially turn the tide of a battle. Say an enemy battleship is attacking your frigate. You and maybe two or three guys happen to be in fighters, kind of flying around, having a dogfight with somebody else, and you get word that they're under attack. You can fly these over here and start picking off enemy weapon systems. You can start pecking away at their turrets, at their engines. If they have any exposed warp drives, well, those are definitely going to be taking damage. And while these things may not be able to outright kill the ship, they can disable enough systems to make them think twice and make them back off a little bit. And that's the main reason why I built these. Well, that and because they look fucking badass. So yeah, those are my fighters. I hope you enjoyed, maybe gave you a few ideas, and I'll see you next time.